All right, everybody, how you doing? And welcome back to my channel. I'm here to unbox McGee gaming headsets on my channel here. Yes, these are good gaming headsets. Now, I also did an unboxing of the Sensor SG500. Now, those are my best gaming headsets. But what I'm going to do with these here is I'll be using these here in the room by McGee. I'll be using these here in the room. For doing my um Ron or Ron um channel right there, so that's better. I'll go ahead and talk about um tech news and a little bit answer um Q and A that I I I came up with for my channel. Okay, I uh, one thing about McGee off rip presentation. If I saw these just sitting on the shelves like that, gone. Price point I paid for them like it's a little. Under $35, but I'll be putting that information in the description below if you want to purchase them off Timu. Now, they might be sold on Amazon. I'll be putting the affiliate um, link in the description below if you want to go ahead and purchase them directly from Amazon. Some of y'all don't like to wait. I don't mind waiting, so it's not an issue. Now, the color of them are yellow and black. Well, black and yellow. How you want it? Black and yellow. It's a 3.5 millimeter stereo. 3.5 um, audio, not 7.1. Some of y'all may like 7.1. Me, I don't like 7.1. That's that high dynamic sound. I just want something comfortable in the ear that I can hear myself and I can enjoy what I'm listening to. Gaming's perspective, I'll be testing the mic out, doing OBS. So it's going to take a couple of hours to do because I'm waiting on a certain piece to come to raise my camcorder up. So I'll be probably doing the final presentation of this video here, probably Sunday or Monday. So, let's get into the unboxing. I'm glad I kind of like purchased things off to move because it's, it's not bad. You know, Amazon, you know, they're not bad either, but you don't know what you're getting from Amazon. Alrighty. In the box, what we get? You get the headsets itself. Let me get all this garbage out of me. You get the headset itself. Very well packaged. I agree. You get the headset itself. Now, before I get into the instructions, okay, before I get into anything else, going further forward with this video, I always strictly say, read your instructions. If you don't know what you're doing, read your instructions. You got um, Asian um, script as well as English script. Always read your instructions. Now, don't give me the model number or anything like that. I got to put that in for customer guarantee. So the model number of these are the G Pilot gaming headsets. And again, if you still don't know what you're doing, setting up everything, just like I said, set up is a virtue. So you could go ahead on and Set up your equipment perfectly by going over your instructions. Now, y'all know me. I'm an instruction guru. So, that's how you learn how to operate stuff and how to put things together. The thing here is, and I'm going to say this in, some of y'all might get offended. If you're literate, please take time to fix that. Because some of y'all misinterpret um, my videos by misinterpreting the title by buying something else that is not in the video. So, just like I said, I'm going to go over it again. Read your instructions and understand what you are reading. And two, I am unboxing McGee. McGee, or McGee, whatever the name is, G-Pilot Gaming Headset. I don't want no one commenting on my video talking to, oh, I bought this here. Different name brand. That is not what is in the description below. This is McGee here. I'm going to show it to you carefully because I'm getting a lot of this on my channel. M-A-G-E-G-E-E G-Pilot -E -E -G Gaming Headsets. The instructions right there. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know how to set up anything, go over this here. Take time to read it. Now, let's get into the unboxing. As you see, nice, nice, nice headsets. Nice. Nice, oh, nice, good, cushy, comfy. The cushion don't come off, but you got nice, good cushion. Now, I do have protective covers 
for that. So I'll be putting those on to keep my cushions intact. Now, if you don't want to mic, and that's one thing I like the most, if you don't want to use the mic, you got mic controls on, off on the side. This is the off section there. And you got your own section right there. So turn it off when you use the mic. You turn it off when you're done. Risers. You just pull them down. Move the mic out the way. You just pull them down. It should just automatically slide down like the um, sensor G500. That's G500. You slide them down. And nice good fit. You got the nice good microphone on the side. So if you want to use the microphone, you're good to go. And I like and I like the microphone that is very flexible. So yes, you could go ahead and flex it like that. If you need to bring it closer, if you don't want to use it, you could go ahead on and, and bring it up. And you could go ahead on and put it right there on the side of the headband strap. Now, some of y'all probably wants to know how they feel. Alrighty, I'm gonna put them on and I'm gonna go ahead on and switch camera views. Alrighty, these headphones are very comfortable on the ear. They are nice and comfortable and when I put them on, I don't hear no noise so I can barely hear myself talk. And I'm not connected up so that's another thing here. Now, it also comes with your, your um, audio and your microphone auxiliary cable jack here so you can connect everything up through that there so yes these headphones are good these headphones are great now i will be testing the sound quality of the headphones can you hear decent music through it as well as testing the mic quality of the microphone now the only thing i'm just not noticing this here is the microphone go all the way down but you can adjust your uh, mic up some or you can just bring it here and you can adjust that there if you don't want it too close to your face you can go ahead and put it off some of it likes to go ahead on and have it close to their mouth some of it like it like this here which that's very nasty but here if you like it like that that's fine if you don't like using them just like I said there's a um, mute button off I showed you how to go ahead and max it to the side and I love this here flexible um, bands cable for the arm um, headphones now if these headphones are good, I will be recommending them. So just like I said, I got to go through the sound test. Everything going to be set up through OBS. Now, I did not say anything about any noise cancellation. I'm going to go over the instructions to go ahead and see if it has noise cancellation in the microphone. The Sensor SG500 has that built in the microphone. So if you use the OBS um, noise suppression on the... um. On OBS and this dude has a noise suppression which I'll be going over the instructions basically to go ahead on this and let you know if it does if it don't then um, you can leave the noise suppression on but if it do have it turn that off in OBS because the last video I did and I'll be putting that video link in the description below for um, sensor is I had the noise suppression on so I was getting extremely cancellations i got two programs going against each other and you can hardly barely hear me but just like i said if it has it i will be going over the instructions itself to let you know in the final presentation of the headphones so i'll be back within two to three hours all right everybody now i'm going to finish the unboxing of the headphones here you get your um your uh, 3.5 headphone and microphone auxiliary cable. You connect this to your PC. Here you got your 3.5 stereo headphone jack. Now on the side of the left hand controller is your volume switcher. It's not Unity so it, it stops at the highest level. And that's a big plus because um, on the sensor SG500, they had a knob on the side, but it was no controllable knob. This one here, you can go ahead and control your audio, how loud you want it. I'm at the max, so you can't turn no more. And I'm at the low end. So that's a good thing. Now, comfortability-wise, the headphones are on. Now, just like I said, when I tried them on, 
I had headphone covers. As you see, I added them on. This here is going to protect the um, marshmallow leather around the headphone padding so your headphone will be looking junky and garbage like certain other headphones I have. Now, headphones I do have are just audio based headphones. Um, there's not um, mic phone headphones, so that's another thing. Now, I just got to reading the instructions of the um, the G Pilot um, by McGee, McGee. Magigi, the uh, microphone is not noise suppression, so there is no noise suppression built into it. So I will be having the uh, noise suppression turned on in OBS, and I'm going to turn it off so y'all could go ahead and get a feel of it. Yes. Now, these are the stuff that comes with it. Um, you got your instructions. You have your, um, your headphones, and you have your auxiliary packaging. Now, just like I said before... Um, I did say the, the uh, terminology of illiteracy. Please understand the title of the video. Don't go purchase other headphones and trying to compare it and then demoralize this unboxing of the video. Um, some people are doing that on my channel. They want to go ahead and add negative comments to what they are doing and they don't understand what they're watching. So, yes. Pay attention to the video. This is the um, G Pilot. Yes, these are the G Pilot um, gaming headsets. It says it right there G Pilot gaming headsets by Magigi. M A G E G E E. And I can't wait to go ahead and hear how they sound, the test quality of the microphone, because I'll be using these headphones as my mic. Instead of using the camera mic for my jelly cone. Now I did switch cameras. I was using the um the um general rail cam that I had purchased off AliExpress. I know it's a lot of flickering, so I put my Logitech C615 back on my main and I'm bringing out my jelly cone, which I had no issues with that camera anyway. So when the certain part come in, because I had ordered a webcam for a webcam stand that goes behind my monitors. I ordered that, that should be coming in Saturday or Sunday. When that get in, I'ma set up everything and I'ma go ahead and do the conclusion of the video using the Magigi G Pilot gaming headsets. Now I could have brought other headphones, but I want something where I got good quality sound. I want something that feel comfortable on my ears. My wife has her, um. HP G3200 headsets. I tried them on. They are uncomfortable to the ears. I want something more comfortable. I did the, the um, comfortability test. And that cushion on the G Pilot are phenomenal. So now, I've finished up the unboxing of the Magigi G Pilot gaming headsets. How they sound. What I recommend them. All that's going to be in the final conclusion of this unboxing. All right, everybody, how y'all doing? And welcome to the final conclusion of the McGee Gee G Pilot Gaming Headphones. Now, they only have two, two options left, which is the um, pink, all the black and yellow sold out. So, it, I know, guys, y'all don't like no pink and white, but there's an alternative to that there is the, um, the SG. 500 by sensor now these are great headphones i tried them i love them but not better than these mcgee's now i have two sets of gaming headphones is the mcgee g pilot and the sensor as you see right here now i purchased these headphones i did an unboxing of them and trust me they thumping one thing about these headphones I like here, it has a noise reduction built into the sensor SG500. So if you have your um, um noise reduction turned on on OBS, please turn it off because those are going to clash together. So, and you're going to hear that in the video that I'm going to be putting in the link in the description below. Other than that, the headphones I love the most, and it makes sense. It works. It does great what I'm doing. 
is the McGee G Pilot headphones, gaming headphones. These headphones are perfect. You see, I'm holding OK, and I give y'all the thumbs up in buying these headphones. Now, the only two options that we have the white and pink 7.1 door channel, and you have the white and pink 3.5 single. So, the black and yellow is sold out. These headphones are well spot on. I got them for $19.98, but regular price is $29.99, as well as the Sensor. Regular price for the Sensor when I purchased them was $29.99 because I purchased them off Amazon on sale, but regular price go for $32.99 for these headphones. If you act now, you could go ahead on and get them for $23.13 because, fellas, I know y'all don't like the pink and white of the McGee. So, if you if you rocking pink and white and, and, and you playing Call of Duty or Fortnite and stuff like that, then, buddy, people going to be laughing at you. But other than that, these McGee G Pally headphones are phenomenal and they sound great. Now, I did do a sound test of them, but I'm going to go ahead and do that sound test with y'all right now. I'm using Chill Hop for my main, my mainstream. Sorry, I didn't have everything all set up for you, but it ain't going to take that long to load up. Boom, see? It ain't going to take that long to load up. Now, I use Chill Hop by. In almost in everything I do. So, right now, I can hear the volume, and you can't go wrong with that. Now, I'm talking, and you might hear a little audio going through the microphone, So, but that's okay. That's not really a problem. Now, if I want to turn it down, I can turn it down. So, other than that, I like this set better because it has an actual volume control knob on the side. You can access your your volume. And one thing I love about the headphones, they sound good. They're not hard thump bass. So that's one thing I did not want it to have on my ear, all that hard thump rattling where I had to do this here. Take off one ear and hear myself. Just in case anything goes on, such as alarm systems and stuff like that goes off in the house. But other than that, I did good. The cushion are great. They're comfortable. They're easy. Now, y'all probably see a little cloth on the side. That means because I got um headphone covers to keep the headphone mesh intact, the um leather intact, so it won't be peeling over the years. So other than that, these McGee G pilots are comfortable. They sound good. I have done three videos with these already and the closing of it. So I will recommend them to gamers on a budget. That's what my channel is about is on a budget. Now I do recommend other stuff. If you don't mind paying the money for it, for me, it's all about your budget, how much you're working with and how much are you willing to spend for your gaming setup or your journalism setup, whatever you like to do, how much are you willing to spend on everything? Office clerical, gaming, gaming parables, is keyboards, mouse, headphones, etc. This works for me. And that's one thing I want to bring to, to, to your attention is that I don't mind shopping around. I don't mind being frugal. Yes, I am frugal with my money because I can sit down here and buy a pair of, of $99.99 headphones. But once you take the name off, you have about a pair of $19.99 to $30 headphones. Once you put the name on, you're paying for it because it's already been branded. I know this here because I took classes of this in college and I know how to go ahead and, and do branding stuff. Now... A person asks me, is like, why would I go ahead and buy these headphones and flip the price? I don't believe in ripping off people. I, I believe in the affiliated links. Trust me, the 3%, 4% they're giving us for affiliated marketing is good for me. It's just the number of volume you sell. So that's what I'm focused on, being a better salesman. And with these headphones here, they're great. 
They're good for you, and I will recommend them everybody worldwide. I want to thank y'all for watching the unboxing and try on of the McGee G Pilot gaming headphones. But one thing I love about them, they're not RGB puke. So I, I, I love headphones that do not have that RGB rainbow feel. Some do. I don't care about others. I care about me and I care about you. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.